What's going on? Chase here. Uh, yeah, I'm on my way to close a couple hundred thousand dollars in sales, but today I wanted to talk to you about value add and how you could utilize it in your everyday life. Uh, so I said a couple hundred thousand dollars in sales. Uh, yeah, but you're, you might be comparing me to real estate and you may not think that's a lot. You know, a small house is a couple hundred thousand dollars. Well, I'm not in real estate. I am in the equipment, uh, industrial equipment uh, field. I help with engineering and I help with a lot of that stuff. But it basically, because I value add, I can make a lot more commission from the same kind of sale as, a, say, a real estate agent. Now, I'm not docking real estate agents. They, um, you know, they do a job and the good ones make good money. That's without a doubt. But in terms of the value they add for their clients, it's limited. It's limited because, you know, they all they really have to offer is their knowledge of the area, their knowledge of the housing and everything that they can offer to their clients. And, you know, that, that hits a ceiling pretty quick. So they can only charge so much commission. Now, in other industries, or say my industry, for example, I can make anywhere from one, two, three, four times as much commission on the same size of sale as a real estate agent and that's mainly because of all the value I can add to a project. Um, and that's, that's probably why the commission also varies, is just dependent on the project. So for example, the kind of value I add to a project is I help with the engineering of their, their systems, I help with you know, problem solving, why they're having particular problems, I help with selecting the equipment, then I sell them the equipment, and then I help with installation and um, you know trial. If there's any trial and error situation where we need to you know try a new solution or change or whatever, you know I can help with all of that as well. Um, I can also help retrofit current systems to better optimize their uh, production. I can help with ROI calculations. I mean I could go on and on with the kind of things I can offer clients. And because I have the knowledge and I have the backing to be able to offer that to clients, that is the reason I can make so much more money per dollar, say, than a real estate agent. And th this is just an example for me. I want to I wanna tell how this information helps you. So, for example, I'm going to throw back to some a, a job I used to do. It was a business I started. It was uh, furniture rental. So for furniture rental, the... You know, the name of the game was getting in front of apartments, getting in front of, uh, you know, basically any sort of temporary situation living where they wouldn't need to buy all new furniture. They could just rent furniture uh, that that has to do with student housing or, you know, some doctors, whatever. There's lots of situations why people need furniture temporarily. But now how can I value add to, you know, charge more margin to make more money per my time? So. I think the best example of this was when we actually had an NBA player as a client. Um, that was probably our you know, highest caliber client. Um, but the difference is what we could do for the NBA player that no other furniture rental business could do was we offered basically very personalized service. I mean, I, I answered calls any time of day. I helped them, helped them get high-end furniture because I had the suppliers. Uh, and basically I just became their personal connection to make sure that they got everything that they need in a timely fashion and no other you know all the big corporate furniture rental businesses that I was competing against none of them could offer that and when you're talking about a client where expenses don't matter like an NBA player then you know I was the perfect business for them now that's just one example another example is actually um, you know, I have many clients uh, in my everyday job. Uh, one of the clients, you know, they basically uh, rework metal. They melt metal down into different forms. Um, and so that's how they add value to their product. But then a person in their company had the idea of, okay, so after we melt the metal down into, you know, the form that we sell it at, well, why don't we machine the metal and then make the machined metal into a part that's value uh, that's going to be a value to another client and so that's what they started to do they started to they took on a another portion of the business by taking the metal that they formed and then they started you know machining it and making it into a product that they could then they could then sell for even more profit so it's it's little stuff like that where you can extend an idea you can extend a product or service or knowledge that you have over a certain field and as you extend that product or service or knowledge, 
you will then be able to generate more income off of the same idea and that has been such a huge benefit to me i mean i've seen it i've seen it in everyday life it can be a benefit to you um and just just the whole mentality of constantly wanting to add value by accumulating more knowledge about a field or by you know building your business in a way that can extend to another industry easily that is such a cornerstone to uh, business and the, I would say the biggest reason why is business changes and as business changes you'll see you know old school type businesses who haven't changed in 50 years they're all they're all going out of business because they haven't extended to new regions of income they haven't adapted to the situation and those who can't adapt or extend their current knowledge base into a new arena eventually you know eventually they go away because they just can't keep up with the current market changes so this is my little tidbit while I'm on the road. Uh, if you have any questions, post down in the comments below. I'll, uh, I'll answer the best I can. Uh, also, leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this, and I'll keep helping you on your way to financial freedom. Thanks. See ya.